Oh my goodness, Stephen, thank you so much. This was an extraordinary movie. And I just want to know initially how you got through the material without kind of breaking down. I didn't. I didn't get through the material without breaking down. <laughs> I mean, it was, a, it was, it was a distressing shoot. I mean, it was, there were times when we, and it wasn't just me, it was the, the whole crew would have to just take a little bit of time and walk around the block and come back to it. Yeah. Um, Thomas Horn, I don't even know where to start with that kid. He's never acted before. You see, you know, he wins Jeopardy, he, you know, and then you get him on your set and he just carries this movie like I've never seen. What was your first impression of him when you started to work with him and just... That, well, Thomas Horn is nothing like the character of Oscar. In other words, there's no loss in Thomas's life. He has a very happy family background. Um, there's nothing of special needs about Thomas. We went through a long process of prep, um, of preparation, but what Thomas had and what he has, I think, in the movie is this extraordinary emotional ability to go to places that I think are, you know, are startling, just startling, and combined with a fierce intelligence, which is what he has, as you'd expect from winning Kid Jeopardy. Um, but a huge tenacity, determination, professionalism, which meant for us, it never felt like we were dealing with a kid. It was always dealing with a, another actor, and our leading actor, as it happens, who was just fantastic. What was it like, you know, his, his process with, well, let's start with Sandra Bullock, because in the movie, of course, there's a bit of a distance there, and I don't want to give anything away, but, you know, tell me about the two of them working together, and what was like watching them? Well, Sandy was a fantastic partner, right the way through, from all the way through prep, and rehearsed forever with me. Um, and the right way through the shoot. And when I say partner, finding a place that she could be safe with the child, helping me find that place, making sure that these emotional scenes, we stayed in that place, uh, with her usual combination of incredible discipline um, and good humor. Because the one thing that's great about Sandy Bullock is, mm -hmm. everybody says it, and it's true, what a great girl. And she really is fantastic, a great person to be around. Um, and that really helped us. Yeah, Max von Sydow, wow. Is it a challenge for you as a director to direct somebody who doesn't say one word in a movie? <coughs> no. Tell me about working with him. Because Max is fantastic. Max is one of the greatest actors you know, of his generation. Um, a great European stage actor. And I think Max was just thrilled with the idea of creating a character that was so complex, layered, and the fact that he had to find a way of communicating without words, I think it... Max just relished it and gives an astonishing performance. Yeah, he really does. Um, Tom Hanks, you know, working again with Thomas on a different level again because their scenes are more, a little bit more jovial, obviously. Um, but watching the two of them work together must have been a thrill. Well, Tom Hanks, you know, from the boy's point of view, he has the perfect dad. So who else would you want as your perfect dad except Tom Hanks? I know I'd like him to be my dad. And Tom created an environment with young Thomas Horn that was so playful and so affectionate and so graceful and gentle that um, he really did my, Tom Hanks did my job for me. All I had to do was just shoot it and Tom Hanks did all the work. You, you know, every movie you've done, there's such sensitivity, uh, just, they're so, so amazing. Where does this sensitivity come from within you? How nice of you to say that. Um, I don't know how to answer that question, but thank you for saying it. Well, you're welcome, because really, you just bring us such amazing things. I wanted to know, you know, I was telling everybody that this is the kind of film where you have to take a box of Kleenex into the theater. There's no question about it. What was the film that, or was there a movie that you just sat and wept uncontrollably at and really had such an impact on you? Good question, and I would not like to jump to that answer, because I can't... I do cry a lot in movies. I mean, I cry, I do. Um, mostly, you know, the ones that really terrify me when I get really upset on movie, watching movies is on aeroplanes. Why do I get so emotionally distressed watching movies on aeroplanes? But anyway, I do. Um, I'm trying to think of the last one. What did I see? I got upset. I watched Harry Potter the other day on the aeroplane. I got upset. What a great movie. I hadn't seen it. I mean, I shouldn't have watched it on the aeroplane, but I did. But fantastic. Yeah, I agree. I think I cried at that one, too. <laughs> Amazing. I cry at everything. I cry at commercials, but you know, um, wh what are we going to see next from you? Are we ever going <coughs> to tackle a comedy? I mean, but we'll see that sensitivity come in through a comedy. But have you ever thought about doing something like that? Yeah. Well, the next thing I'm doing is the I'm involved in the Olympics in London, so I got to go back to London and start getting into the 2012 Olympics. Well, that'll be so exciting. That'll be exciting. Very exciting. Um, and, and last question about the film too. New York, obviously, major character in the movie. How challenging was it for you to shoot in New York? Was it fantastic? Or? I mean, really fantastic. 
not just be, the, our crew was so brave, I can't tell you. And a lot of it, you know, people have very personal relationship with 9-11, so it was a crew that was heavily committed to the, to the project. And actually everywhere we went, talking about what the movie was about and why we're doing it and all the rest of it, the most supportive city I could possibly have made a movie in. Just great all the way down the line. Yeah, well, I just again want to congratulate you and thank you so much for bringing us this amazing book and bringing it to the screen. It really was uh, one of the most impactful films I've seen this year. And uh, get the tux ready because we'll be seeing you at the Oscars. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. But thank you. <laughs> thank you. Always a pleasure. Thank Thanks. you nice so to much. See you. You're, you too. Have a great day. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs>